Hey, I'm Carla Lolly Music. I am here to critique some trending food. Let's dig in. Uh, I have so many problems with this, I don't quite know where to start. Cotton candy is not a barrier <laughs> for anything. And then things inside, thinking that you can roll inside of a, a spun sugar, it's not gonna work. It's a great catchy name, cool marketing and practice like a total fail. Mm. I think ramen crusted grilled cheese combines a lot of words that Americans love. We love ramen, we love crusted, crispy, and then grilled cheese. So it just seems like a really great winning combination. I do think that this trend may have been inspired by an Italian grilled cheese called mozzarella in caro carrozza. Mozzarella in carrozza where a grilled cheese with mozzarella is actually breaded and dipped in breadcrumbs and then pan fried. So it gets that really crispy outside crunch and the super oozy cheese pull. So grated egg is actually a very classic accompaniment to like a fancy caviar service where you would have your little finely diced shallots and chives and the fluffy grated egg. So I love the idea of taking that like airy, ethereal, like lovely kind of egg texture and applying that to where you might see like a fried egg in the past. So I'm into it. I think you just need to make sure there's enough moisture happening in the avocado toast that it doesn't feel dry or under seasoned. I love a cheese shell, also known as Frico, and they work when the filling is really delicate. So if you have a cheese shell and you drop down some like floaty, fluffy pieces of arugula and maybe drizzle a little bit of vinegar over it, eat it in one bite, you're totally in business. If you take a cheese shell and try to put like a taco filling in there and salsas and wet stuff and greasy stuff, like 100%, you're just gonna be holding it in your hands. Taco hands. Baked feta pasta started a, a run on feta that the world had not seen. We were out of feta in like many different countries. And the reason is, is this combination is really tasty and delicious. So you've got like that salty feta, you've got sweet tomatoes, you're putting in the pasta, you're just putting it in the oven. It's kind of genius. And the other thing that works with feta is that it's a cheese that will soften and take on flavors, but it's not gonna melt down to a puddle. So when you take it out of the oven, you have actually distinct nice bites of cheese. So this one, I know a lot of people who made this and said it was actually really, really good. <laughs> I feel like mini pancake cereal is what made TikTok famous for being food TikTok from the jump. And it's such an insane idea. It's fun to watch somebody else do it. But the idea that you would stand there, first of all, that you would make all of those teeny tiny pancakes and then just dump them in a bowl and pour milk over them. No. If I was making teeny tiny one by one minuscule little pancakes, every single one would have like a tweezer of softened butter and just a dollop of maple syrup. And I would savor every single one because my time is worth it. Thanks for having me, Drew. I can't wait to come back for more Food Talk.